Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. Today we're going to be doing some blooms and some swipes on little six inch square pieces of MDF board that I have. Our pillow paint today is going to be Sherwin Williams, Colour to Go. This is the white. Sometimes I find that the white can be a little bit thick and needs thinning down with maybe an ounce or two of water, uh, but generally a good stir and uh, it will behave itself and work well as a pillow. For my pouring medium today, I'm using uh, my mixture of Bare 8300 with the Minwax Polycrylic. And if you cannot get the Bare 8300 where you are, uh, usually any, uh, I go to Cloverdale because I'm in Canada and this is a semi-gloss, uh, neutral, untinted clear base. Uh, usually any semi-gloss, untinted clear base will be a good, uh, a good uh, substitute for Bare 8300. Uh, I also mix a little bit of uh, flow troll in uh, and I have the American flow troll here uh, uh, but this time I decided to do a little experiment because I'm very lucky I have a very good friend in Australia who sent me this bless him uh, it's a gallon of uh, the uh, Australian flow troll uh, so what I did this time was substitute the American flow troll for the Australian flow troll in my pouring medium uh, to see what's going to happen uh, colours today, we're using uh, PBO, iridescent uh, blue-green. We are using a mixture of, uh, of tube paints and pigments. Next we're using uh, My Little Piggy, this is all. Then we have the violet, uh, violet blue, iridescent violet blue from PBO. And then we're going to have another one of my favourites. Uh, Twinkle by this little piggy. It's an interference colour. One way it looks uh, blue and the other way it looks uh, violet, I believe. And then last, PBO Studio Acrylics Iridescent Red Blue. Our cell activator today. And this is the secret, I guess. Uh, we've been allowed to uh, tell you guys what uh, the Australian uh, uh, cell making formula is. And yes, of course, it's Floetrol. Uh, but the ratio is uh, quite important. It's four to one and uh, I favour Amsterdam acrylic paint to use in my cell activator. And this one today is Prussian blue. Very beautiful deep blue colour. Okay, so that's enough of me talking. I'm going to get the camera pointing down again and we're going to do some pouring. Okay. So I've got my Sherwin-Williams colour to go. Uh, I'm guesstimating this amount, but uh, there's uh, just 900 millilitres in this little pot. And I guess I'm putting down maybe about 50 to 75 or so. Just a nice little pillow. Pour it in the middle so it spreads out evenly. Wipe the edge because we don't want to waste it. And lots of people just leave the pillow like this, but uh, sometimes I've noticed uh, in my pores when I have left the pillow just like this, you kind of get a bit of a ring mark left where the bare MDF is just literally sucking all of the moisture out of the paint. So this is why I just like to uh, get my little, uh, my little tool here palette knife, sorry that escaped me for a minute then what it was called. And I just like to gently just spread it out to the edges and then we won't get those little pesky lines. Again it's the perfectionist in me, I've got to let it go but any little bits that help me see more beauty in it is great. We're going to put down the PBO iridescent blue green first. And because this is only a six inch square, we don't need to use a lot of our colors. Okay, next it's the, uh, uh, this little piggy, TLP, uh, or, and if you want to know where to get this little piggy pigments from, I highly recommend them. They're amazing. They're speci specifically made for this kind of art. 
and you can get them at fluid-art.co and I'm pretty sure they deliver nearly everywhere in the world so wherever you are you can get some piggies okay this one is the uh, PBO iridescent violet blue and then next is one of my ultimate favorites from this little piggy the twinkle interference blue and violet I believe and last the PBO iridescent red blue and again we want to put just slightly less and less each time because we don't want the last colors to overtake the piece okay now for the cell activator this time I'm using the Australian cell activator so that's Australian flow troll and uh, I prefer to use Amsterdam standard acrylic paints most colors work really well as a cell activator uh, and the ratio is four to one but can it can differ slightly depending where you are in the world uh, and uh, the humidity and the climate that you live in. So we want to make sure we use this very sparingly, not a lot at all. Bingo, that's enough. Okay, now time to blow the cell activator out and over the colours. Okay, we've just got to let the pillow paint come back underneath and I like just to blow the edges out just a little more. It's quite a pretty bloom. Okay. Just pick it up gently. See if I can get you a really nice close up. Excellent. Okay. Now I've got to make sure I put the <laughs> put the spinner back in place. Okay, so it all moves around nicely as one now. So, okay, time to give it a little spin. Oh, very pretty indeed. Okay, let's just have a nice close up of that. And now we're just going to spin it anti-clockwise the other way. Yes, I'm quite happy with that indeed. It's very pretty. I'm just going to see how much movement there still is. Hardly any at all. But I'm just going to, for good measure, give it one more spin. Okay, and there you have it. Very pretty iridescent bloom. Okay, let's just finish on a nice close-up for you. Excellent. Okay, so let's get another canvas, another little uh, six inch square, and we'll try the same colors with a swipe. Hey friends. So I wanted to see how these colors would look on a black background. So here we go, let's just lay them down again.
just move it over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so here we go, guys. That's quite pretty guys, I'll bring it up so you've got a close up. So that's how the colours look on a back, black, black background. I love what the uh, PBO iridescent blue-green is doing with the uh, piggy, this little piggy ore. Just ringing the cells beautifully with the activator. Okay. No, time to give it a little spin. Just make sure the paint is nicely on the edges is going to come over. See, I might put a little bit of activated just here. I'm not too fond of that spot. So literally guys, all you need is a tiny, tiny little bit, just a dab from the stirring stick on the end of the on the end of the palette knife. And then we're just going to try and grab this bit here, just to give it a bit more interest. Okay, now I'm still practicing at this, so please don't laugh, but I'm going to try and modify, it, modify, the, modify the bloom through the middle here. And then just going to take another little one out here, like that. So we're going to give it a gentle spin. Oh wow, I really love what's going on here. <laughs> We almost don't want to tilt it or lose any more of the piece, but as you can see, the whole pillow is still moving. Okay, we're just going to help it over on that side and then let it move back into the middle. And we're going to give it another spin. Uh, we just spun it anti-clockwise, I believe, so this way is going to be clockwise. Awesome. So, there we go. We'll finish on a close-up. Let me just lift this up to you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're looking at. And as always, friends, happy pouring. <laughs>